Hey everybody, Spoonfed here, and this is Backtrack 5 Release 2, or R2, um, and the Gnome Edition, and something that I, yeah, they definitely have the same tools now in both um, versions, as you can see, this one has massively been um, upgraded, as it were. And extend it in all kinds of various forms. Still, <coughs> pardon me. One of the things that I have to give uh, to the KDE version, it is somehow, um, I don't know, easier to work with, as in all the icons or way of positioning them maybe is a little easier on the eye but um, that, not, that does not take away the fact that overall I don't like KDE um, it seems to me that they did the same tools now I don't know if they listened to me probably not but um, yeah, you still get the feeling that you're missing something, you know, um, on like this version. But it's only because all the icons have the same. Uh, oh, sorry, all the applications have the same icon, so that's why everything looks uh, like the same. And but uh, yeah, everything's here, and uh, this is well. Backtrack 5 GNOME, um, it's not much more I can add to it other than um, I've already done, oh they've done arrow scripts, oh, that's pretty cool, um, that's a, uh, like an automated uh, script that you can run, uh, resolution, well let's make something that we can definitely see, interface, I don't have an interface, so um yeah to fake Mac I don't think it will boot up properly because uh, the interface I don't have an interface on here so I don't think it will uh, oh it does cool all right um well I'll do a s scan uh, no filter channel hopping and that's what I said. You cannot see them, but that's um, a cool little feature that you can run through and try to get into people's networks, which you should do on your own um, consciousness or not consciousness. Uh, well, in your own uh, on your own terms, as it were, as you know, every action has a consequence, so if you know what you're doing, you should be able to figure out what the consequences are. I do like this, like, sort of crumpled paper look in the background. Um, yeah, all in all, this is Backtrack 5 R2 GNOME. Um, one note I, sh I, I should add is it boots way faster than uh, the R1 of GNOME or the or the first one of GNOME so I don't know what they did in like the back end of it but it boots up now just fine it, it used to take quite a while but now it's it's almost as fast as KDE so um, good job on that I think they're still like trying to figure out GNOME as they have been working in KDE for a long time and now GNOME is relatively new uh, but anyway that's it for um, me, and that's it for this distro.